I want to talk to you about how to create your own custom stamp. This is pretty cool. You have a PDF open. If I come up under comments, you guys are going to see we've got a lot of different types of comments we can add, things like that. Show comment and markup toolbar, and that'll allow you to see your stamps. Now, stamps, there's tons of them. If you click on the arrow to the right here, you'll see that we've got dynamic stamps and sign here and all these crazy ones. I'm going to create my own. So if I click create custom stamp, what it's going to do is ask you to browse for a picture you've created somewhere else. Now, I've already done that, but I want to show you guys this. I created this file in Illustrator, and you can see I'm in Illustrator right now, and I just created this really simple file, and scale matters, you guys. If you want to make it 5x5 five five inches wise, make it 5x5. Five five. It'll show up that way. It retains the transparency because I saved it as a PDF out of Illustrator. So if you save it as a PDF out of Illustrator or a PDF out of Photoshop, you can get it to make to keep or preserve the transparency. If you save as other file formats like JPEG or things like that, a lot of times it'll just flatten it out and it'll look dumb. Okay, so let me go back. Back in Illustrator, we browse for the picture we create first. You can do almost anything you want, you guys. You can say, okay, well, what is it? If you look right down here at Files of Type, you'll see all the different formats we can actually import. It's pretty crazy. You've got GIFs, JPEGs, InDesign files. You want to import an InDesign file? It's crazy. And a bunch of other ones. Now, if you guys are on Mac in Acrobat Pro, or Acrobat Standard for that matter, you probably won't see nearly as many file formats. That's because I'm on Windows right now. All right, I'm going to make sure that I've got that one selected, the FPO right there. Click Select. There we go. I'll click OK. As soon as you insert the image there, it's going to say, OK, well, we want to make a category or select a category that's existing, and we want to give it a name. So I'm going to make the category my own. I'll call it, you know, Brian. Wow, I can't even spell my name. Brian. Brian. <laughs> There we go. New stamp. I'll call this FPO. It's going to downsample it to make it smaller, which usually is a good thing. If you forget or don't want this image, you can change it by clicking Select Image. I click OK. Now let's try it out. It's saved in Illustrator forever, or in uh, Photoshop, really. It's saved in Acrobat forever, you guys. I've been using too many programs today. So once you guys open Acrobat next time, it's still in there. If you come up to the stamp area, you're going to see, hover over the little stamp, it selected the last one you, you made or you selected. Click the arrow to the right. There's my stamp category and my stamp. So I'm going to click on my stamp, come onto my page, notice the transparency, click the let go, and there we go. Pretty cool. Now, if you want to edit or delete the stamp itself, of course, you can click on the stamp on the page and delete it. We can also double click on it and throw a little note in there, which is kind of neat. But if you want to delete it from Acrobat, so you don't have it in here anymore, you can come to the Comment and Markup Toolbar, click on the arrow, Manage Stamps, right down there at the bottom, and just delete it or edit it or create a new one. So it's up to you guys. You've got a lot of choices here. But anyway, it's really simple, um, and it can do. you guys can do a lot of things with this. But think about this. If you want to add, like, let's say, a logo to a page, sometimes this can be a simple way to do that. I could just take a logo and make a stamp out of it and throw it on the page. Of course, you got to be careful if somebody prints, it may not print, but that's another matter. So anyway, that's a great way to make a stamp. I'm going to do another tip, you guys, which talks about how to create one of the dynamic stamps for yourself. So you can have it put things like your name, time, date, stamp, and have it say or do whatever you want. But that's for another tip. So there you go. Quick way to make a stamp.